What's up Kings? Welcome back to Passport Kings. This week, I'm counting down the countries with the world's most beautiful women. Engage. Alright, so I recently posted an article from the Huffington Post to my Facebook group, BM Travel Abroad, and it caused a lot of controversy, conversation, and angry rants about how the article had no idea what it was talking about. Some even got mad at me for even posting the article. And at the end of the day, I had to keep telling folks that this is not my opinion, this is just an article. But in this episode, this list will be my opinion. And this is the Passport King's official top 10 countries with the world's most beautiful women. And if you agree or disagree, leave me a comment below. I always answer those. And to the people that was waiting for my bucket list episode, that's next week. Sorry about that, but watch this super quick commercial and I'll be right back. This episode of Passport Kings is brought to you by the Passport Kings Travel Agency and Deal Finder. So if you're planning a trip by plane, you need a rental car, or just need a hotel for a couple of days, you can even find low prices on cruises and full vacation packages. Go to my website, www.passportkings.com. So go to passportkings.com, support black businesses, and book one of the best trips of your life right now. And click on the price finder on the right side of your screen. All right, done with that. There's over 195 countries in the world. And no, I have not met all these women, but guess what? I didn't need to. This is not an etiquette, a collaboration, or a personality contest. This is a Password Kings beauty contest, and here are your winners. Number 10, in 10th place is the African country Angola. It's a country that a lot of people leave off of their to-do list, but as you can see, their beautiful copper skin is the epitome of the word exotic. They're well kept, loyal and team players. Number nine, Russia. There's a good reason why Russia is the male or the bride capital of the world. If your preference is tall, thin, with the facial features of a Victoria's Secret model, then Russia is like walking into heaven for you. They're usually well educated, but for this list, nobody cares. <laughs> Here's number eight. Indian women are usually covered head to toe because of uh, cultural reasons and their religion. But I think there's a more obvious reason why Indian men want their women covered up. Because when they show the world what's beneath that surface clothing, it's very easy to become mesmerized by their beauty, their eyes, their rich skin, and long hair. Yes, they can smile a bit surprising, but that has nothing to do with beauty. Here's number seven, Barbados. This country brought us Rihanna, and maybe she sings the same tune through the entire song, but the girl is beautiful, and so is the other women in her country. They stay thin, and a lot of them have beautiful bronze skin. They love to party, and it's awesome to dance all night with a beautiful girl with cosmic beauty. Number six, Armenians. Guess what? Kim Kardashian is not the most beautiful Armenian there is. I understand that they have some very aggravating laid back attitude, horrendous voices that make you want to rip your ears off. But still, that does not erase the fact that Kim and the girls from Armenia have beautiful cheekbones, thick sexy breasts, asses, and pretty skin color. Plus those full lips. And she was no slouch on that Ray J video, so there's no telling how Kanye West's sex life is right about now. Cause what's the use of having that thing if you can't throw that thing? Number five, Dominican Republic. DR, yeah I said it DR. Cause every time you think you ran into the most beautiful Dominican Republic women on earth, you'll be proven clearly wrong by someone you'll run into the next night. Spend the weekend in the Dominican Republic, Susua to be exact. And I guarantee you that you will never look at other women the same again. Their skin color is like a color of coffee or frappuccino or something. They have hourglass shapes and an uncanny want to please a man. So, you're probably thinking, well, if they're that great, so why are they in the number five spot on this list? Because these last four spots put the beauty and woo into beautiful women. Here they are, number four. Cape Verdean women's bone structures are almost angelic. Speaking of Kanye West, he introduced us to Amber Rose. She introduced us to Cape Verde, and we've been hooked up since. These women are usually tall, shapely, and so exotic looking that it's erotic. 
They got a masters of flat tummies and thick where it counts. A beautiful face to me is the most important factor when it comes to determining my beauty preferences and Cape Verde women are stunning to look at. Number three, those Ethiopians. When I was young and when I thought of an Ethiopian, I thought of those old feed the dying black children videos that Sally Struthers used to be pimping. But then I came of age and I finally stopped believing that hype. And then when I started to look closer, I started to see women who have beauty without even trying. Yeah, of course you can find some ugly chicks in Ethiopia, but you can find ugly chicks any place on this earth. But when you run into a pretty one, she's usually light years prettier than all the rest of the girls from the countries on this list. And they are still very distinctly Ethiopian. And that look is beautiful. There's usually some mixed looking girls at the top of lists like this, but not Ethiopians. Them chicks is flying their own way. Number two, and next to first place, is a group of chicks who are internationally known for their beauty. Ask anyone on earth what comes to mind when you say Brazil. And everyone other than the haters will usually say, beautiful women. I remember the first time I witnessed Brazilian beauty. I worked part-time at Pizza Hut while I was still in high school. I worked on Broadway and my job was right across the street from the Winter Garden Theater where they played the, uh, the play Cats. Yo, one night when that show let out, I found myself surrounded by some of the most beautiful women I've ever seen in my life. I mean, there was a trailer load, trailer load of pretty girls, pretty faces, sexy bodies, and this sensual language that just went right along with them. It sounds Spanish, but it was way more sexy. I tried my best to overcome that language barrier to find out where them chicks came from and to take their pizza order. <laughs> I was a true player back then and I was determined to get to know at least one of them. It never really panned out, but what I did learn was those amazing looking chicks was from Brazil and they were speaking Portuguese. They were super friendly, and I promised them one day, I'm gonna come to Brazil to visit some of y'all. I went home that night, I jumped on the internet. Yeah, it was dollar. But the rest is history. You know what, now that I think about it, meeting them women is probably when my travel bug bit me. Brazilian women are undeniably sensual, beautiful, sexual, and passionate. They exude feminality. And that's why everyone that I've ever known who's met one in person have <laughs> never been the same again. But all right, so before I get to number one, I want to give out five honorable mentions. Morocco women are very easy to look at. Canadian women are facially gifted. Women from Somalia are very pretty. And the women from Sudan are very slept on. And them girls is gorgeous. What up, bangs? <laughs> and of course, Filipinas are some of the most beautiful and accommodating women in the world. They many times have a lot less shape than what I desire, but everything they're known to do for a man makes up for all of those shortcomings. All right, so here's number one. Women from the good old US of A. <laughs> I'm not trolling. And before you send me some hate mail or call me a simp pandora, Remember that I said this is a beauty contest. And yes, I realize that a lot of my male viewers are ready to even leave the USA because of the attitudes of these chicks and the gold digging tendencies of the American women. But let's not kid ourselves. When these chicks look good, they look amazing. Of course, not the fat ones or the facially less fortunate, but when an American girl has her look together, be it real or fake, they be knocking dudes dead. And yeah, this is probably more Unfortunately, this is probably more ammo for them to stay the spoiled brass that they can be. But you gotta give it to them. Man, they be looking good, man. And as ugly as materialism and feminism and always acting entitled and always wanting people to imagine and, and always wanting people to ignore their shortcomings, an American gym is filled with the most prettiest, fluffy titties, <laughs> new word for y'all, fattest asses and slimmest stomachs in the world. Their skin color varies from dark to light to everything beautiful in between. And a lot of people get their style, let's not kid ourselves, from African American women. So if you can find one that is nice, cooks, is compatible, honest, and loyal, I ain't saying wife her up, <laughs> but you will have one of the most beautifulest women in the world. If you have anything to add to this topic or about traveling in general, 
Leave a comment below. Like I said, I always answer them. Let's keep this conversation going. But that will wrap up this episode of Passport King. If you enjoyed this, there's a few things that I would love for you to do for me. Show your support by first subscribing to the YouTube page. And if you're looking at this from a different location, my YouTube page is YouTube slash C, the letter C, slash Passport King. Second, follow me on Twitter. I'm at Passport underscore King. Also, like one of... Like all of my Facebook pages. I'm at facebook.com slash Passport Kings. That's my like page or, my, or what do you call it, a business page. Then like me personally, that's, pass, that's facebook.com slash Passport Rock. I'm also on Instagram still at Passport Kings. Why should you, you ask? Because not only does it let me know that you enjoy the content that I provide on the subject of traveling, but it'll also benefit you because you'll be kept in the loop about when new episodes are coming out. I'll even tell you travel info and deals. It'll be on one of my social, social media sites. And again, for my advanced Passport Kings, what I want y'all to do is go to PassportKings.com slash contact us, fill out that little form there, and then you'll be on my mailing list. What you'll, get on, what you'll become on my mailing list is on the path to becoming a Passport King yourself. We have a lot of opportunities for people. If, I mean, that's only if you like to travel a lot and make money while you're traveling. And trust me, this is an excellent opportunity for people who just like to book travel deals for their friends and family. So go to www.passportkings.com slash contact us and fill out that form now and you'll get a new email every week. I'm even, from now on, I'm sending out uh, all of the trips and travel opportunities that they are right now. So even when you're not becoming a Passport King yourself, you're going to find out about all the hottest places to travel right now. So until next time, wear your crowns proud. Don't let nobody tell you that you shouldn't be traveling that much. And you know what? If you got a hater, this is what I learned about haters. You ever heard the, uh, you ever heard the term that uh, haters will be your stepping stool? Well, they don't, they don't mean that you're going to step on a hater's neck and crush them and, and kill them. What they mean is haters are stools that are letting you know that you are one step higher to your goals. So every time you run into a new hater, be sure that you are doing the right thing and you're becoming the person that you want to become. Haters are a roadmap. When you get to a hater, you're getting closer to where you're going. And when you're getting closer to where you're going, you're most likely to quickly become a king. A passport king. I'll talk to y'all next week. Peace.